Hello, mes amis. On this week's episode, we're going to be making nasi goreng, which in Indonesian really just means fried rice. Okay, let's jump right into this. Starting off with one chicken breast, which we're going to butterfly because it's the only way that we know how to open up. To do so, we're going to place our hand on top, make sure we know where the middle point is, and make a singular cut down the middle. Most of the way through is usually good enough. You can reassess here if need be. Fully cut it in half, stack on top to get nice thin chicken strips that will cook relatively quickly and are great for stir frying. After cleaning your knife, throw that into a bowl and lightly coat in ketchup manis and set aside to marinate while you finish off the rest of your prep, which in reality will only take about 10 minutes, you know, if you did your homework. But for now, just take out your sharpest knife, throw on your favorite playlist or something and get ready to shreddy. I mean, dice this onion. And to do that, we're gonna pop the top off this bad boy, cut it in half, make some probably unnecessary lateral cuts if you ask Ethan Chablowski. Then proceed to make evenly spaced cuts about 90% of the length of the onion. Rotate 90 degrees and do the same for your nice dice. Now for our garlic, we're going to treat it very similarly, but we're going to have to smack it, take its clothes off, and then shower it with love. And by love, I really mean cold hard Japanese steel. Now this traditional French brunoise technique is not the only way to skin this cat, but I don't have a lot of cats to waste. So I'm gonna go with what I know here and make those crazy lateral cuts because I like to work on my blade awareness. Finishing this up with a cross chop just to pick up any stragglers. We're gonna get this off our board, set it aside and make room for our red hot little lady. I found Fresnos to be the best stand-in pepper for those Eastern Asian peppers that are hard to find, similar to like bird's eye chilies. We're going to be using all of this in a desperate attempt to feel. So just go through your normal pepper prepping or dicing technique. Be careful because the seeds are kind of slippery and definitely wipe down your workspace after this because it can get kind of shady. Now if you're extra like me, you can make these small back and forth sawing motions at a 45 degree angle to remove the core of this tomato, cut it in half, and then, I don't know, just slice it. I mean, this is a garnish. And the same thing goes with this cucumber. I know it's wrapped in plastic, but the hothouse cucumbers blow the friggin' pants off of your run-of-the-mill cukes, all right? Now, grab the coolest scallion you've probably ever seen and use about 10% of it to add to the fresh aesthetics and because TikTok insists I eat my green. The first non-negotiable is ketchup manis, the sweet and Indonesian soy sauce, but shrimp paste, on the other hand, can totally forget. Moving back to non-negotiables, day-old cooked rice is a must if you don't want porridge here. For a sauce, combine a tablespoon and a half of ketchup manis and season to taste with soy sauce. Now, if you're using a Japanese soy sauce like Kikoman like I am, a tablespoon should be pretty good, but season to taste with this. You know, mixing as you go, looking for something that tastes sweet but is well balanced. So as soon as you say, hell yeah, we're ready to cook. Grab your favorite stir fry vessel and get it ripping hot. Now add a generous amount of high smoke point oil because our goal is always to infuse our oil with as much flavor as possible before adding our base carb. Throw in your onion and keep it moving until it starts to look golden brown. After about 30 seconds to a minute, we're going to see that everything is getting nicely colored and then we're gonna add in our garlic and Fresnos. This is serious focus here and we're going to use the tummy and the head technique from School of Walk to ensure that our garlic doesn't burn. Once we're feeling pretty good about that, we're going to create a wellness center and then dump in our chicken and sear it until it's nice and crispy on one side, which is about 30 seconds in this mega hot wok right now. Once we think that that's ready, we're going to flip it over and disregard that super crispy guy and continue to stir fry this for an additional 30 seconds or so until you start to feel like everything is getting nicely cooked. Now it's time to make an additional well and throw in your shrimp paste. Cook this out for about 10 seconds and stir to combine and then get ready to throw in the rice. Not following by example here, Break this up with your spoon first, and then make sure that all of the grains are as separated as possible while stirring with all the aromatics in your chicken, and then ruin any chance of it being a healthy meal by adding all of your sauce. At this point, you're basically done. Just make sure everything is nicely coated, and congratulations. Your first nasi goreng is finished. Now that all hopes of this being a healthy meal are completely ruined, we're just going to make matters worth by adding a fried egg, because that's what the realists would do, and that's what we strive to be. I usually cook mine over medium heat with a fair amount of oil, definitely don't do that, but season with salt and pepper for sure. Add a touch of water and then cover this and cook for an additional 30 seconds if you need to expedite the white setting process. Now that that's done, we're going to set it aside and get ready for plating. That said, we're just going to go nuts here and basically put 
all of the fried rice that we just cooked into the same bowl because it's just for me. I mean, it's, I'm alone. Okay, I'm just doing this at like 4 a.m. and I'm eating alone. So I get all of it. I get all the veggies. I get the crispy egg and I get all of the sambal. A little freshness from these scallions goes great with this sweetness. And the yolk pour just for you real ones. I mean, thank you so much for uh, the support on Kofi recently. It's been really nice having those stress-free coffees in the morning. I mean, hmm. that's my genuine reaction here. This is one of the best things I've cooked in so long. It is unreal. New fave. That said, thank you so much for watching. And if you learn anything, please let me know. First of all, do your damn dishes. And I hope to see you in the next one. Like, subscribe, comment, and let your friends know. Peace.